Hey guys, it's Double Wide Six, and uh, I made this project a little while back, and I've kind of waited till the holiday season to bring this forward. It's actually a coin sorter, and I just thought it would be like the coolest project for you guys to do with your kids or your grandkids. Um, it's a lot of fun to make. It's not that hard to make, and I just thought I'd share it with you. Um, you, you never know how you're going to make those memories with your kid. And I remember spending time with my own father working on different projects in the garage. And he, he kind of inspired me to be what I am today. So maybe I could pass this opportunity on to any one of you out there so that you could share this with your family. Maybe have some time off work. So uh, it's a good time of the year to do a little project like this. So stay tuned. So what is this thing? It's a coin sorter. There's a nickel. There's a quarter. It's always going to organize these things, put them right in the right slot, and there's a dime. So that's the machine. That's how it works. So teaching industrial arts for like 17 years, I've made all kinds of stuff. And I got to tell you, the kids that I teach are really excited about this project. And I like it because it uses wood, uses plastic and um, all kinds of different tools to make it but nothing really that exceptionally expensive you can make it with a jigsaw if you wanted to we use scroll saws and uh, we also use a laser engraver which you don't really need for the project the other thing is that um, we added a graphics component as you can see my son is actually a Steelers fan so we did a little Photoshop stuff and uh, set this up for him and you know indicated where the different amounts of money go so all this project is is on the bottom there's just a piece of hardboard you can see it's cut a little bit short and the reason for that is I was trying to make it fit 6x12 so I could get a, more of them out of a 4x8 sheet when the kids produce this thing. This, this uh, coin tray thing is 1 inch thick pine by about 6 inches and these slots were just cut out on the scroll saw and on the back side they just go straight in and then they cut the circle or rectangle and then they come straight out so you don't even have to pre-drill to do that so that made that easy um, that's just glued on the hardboard um, you could see that this is there's a little gap here because uh, this is kind of like one of the prototypes we made and it wasn't quite long enough and then up here this is actually more hardboard because it's cheap um, they cut a little thing here you can do that with a Forstner bit um, and it's it's actually two pieces of hardboard I'll show you this a little later and then on the back we just used a thick poster board to actually reduce costs even more and then up top three-quarter inch pine and then on the back there's a back so a lot of you guys know Bobby um, he's a Steelers fan I'm really not sure why but he knows like all the players on a team, he collects their cards. My wife and I are Eagles fans. We live in uh, Eastern Pennsylvania, so we kind of have to be. And also we get our free coffee from Dunkin' Donuts if they win. And I think I may have gotten like two cups of coffee all year. But the Steelers on the other hand, they're doing great. So he has a good team to root for. So here's the guts of this thing. Basically this is made out of a eighth inch acrylic and the back piece just has some rectangles all right and this is a dime so the dime will roll down and fall in the first rectangle here here goes a penny it's going to go past the dime slot and fall in the penny slot and then the nickel and finally the quarter the quarter is big enough that it rolls all the way down um, I saw one of these things on YouTube and they used like cardboard and straws and they had it working and uh, my colleague that I work with he and I were trying to figure this thing out we spent a fair amount of time trying to get everything all squared away it had to be very precise and we actually have our kids draw this thing on computer-aided drafting and then they send it over to an epilogue laser where they cut it out and it cuts out you know perfect size and we put these holes here for alignment now what I've done to reduce the cost 
is uh, I have them cut it out of uh, this poster board. So we use poster board for the, uh, the back squares and also the laser cuts faster. But you could actually have the kids cut this out using just drilling some holes and cutting very precisely. All right, guys, I popped the uh, back off. Here's the dividers. And the way we do this is we have the laser actually cut these out, but these could be cut easily on a scroll saw. And the other thing that we have here is some little metal curved tabs. So I just bent some metal and the kids actually hot glue that in there. And what that does is when the coin falls, it hits this little ramp here. And that's what kicks the coin out to the front. Um, we tried originally to kind of lift this up like this, but you kind of need this angle going back in order for the coins to fall. So maybe I'll show you this from the back angle. All right, I'm going to let go of the quarter. And you can kind of see how it bounces into that slot. So if you're looking for a project this holiday season, maybe this will be a good one for you and your kids or your grandkids. Pretty neat thing. I can tell you, Bobby has this thing sitting on his bureau and his friends are all about this thing. They're always playing with it. And, uh, you know, it's just a cool project. I have it sitting out a lot at work and the kids at school are playing with it and they're middle schoolers, so they're much older. So anyhow, um, I don't have plans or anything for this particular project. Uh, well, actually I do, but I don't have them posted on this video. Um, it'd probably be pretty neat to have some plans for you guys, but I don't have it. And, you know, I don't do videos full time for a living. I don't make plans. Uh, perhaps I could have, uh, you know, it'd be nice to get someone like Jay Bates or Steve Ramsey or Teus Wandel or John Hines. Those guys all have great woodworking channels. Um, you know, I could send them some plans and they could post them up or work something out like that but the project's not that hard i think you could figure it out on your own so anyhow i'll put some links down below to the basic tools that you need and uh, as i said you never know how much time you're going to have with your grandkids or your kids so spend it wisely and I, I just think this would be an awesome project for a lot of people to do